Top 10 Mogul Updates, let's go baby! First things first, for those that don't know, Mogul is the best Minecraft server around. In Mogul you can be a lawnmower, start a gang, run a business, start a gang, become mayor of a whole freaking city, or start a gang. I love Mogul. Full transparency, I also work for Mogul. But Mogul's the best, and you can play it now at the IP play.mogul.today. With all that said, let's get into the top 10 major update list. Oh, also my name's Sheriff Dacon. Number 10. The Cop Shock and Two Special Items Update. The last thing you'd want for an update is for it to only have two useful items in it, but it turns out that might be just what you get with this update. The Cop Shock and Two Special Items Update. While it is great for its time, looking back on it, it lacks the boatload of new features that would be expected from later updates. However, there are two key items in this update that still affect the way we play today, those items being tasers and restock boxes. The taser was and still is an absolute game changer for combat and mogul. Can't hit a criminal because they keep running faster than lightning? Just hit them with a taser and now they're slower than mogul's next update release. With this update, cops and well-connected criminals alike could now easily slow and kill players with tasers. Restock boxes were also a great addition to the game. Now, not only did players no longer have to wait for stores to restock themselves, but the mayor also had a new task. Because only they could buy restock boxes, mayors would have to run around and give restock boxes to players that wanted them. Other than that, this update doesn't have much to offer, as most of all the other changes were bug fixes and under the hood mechanics that made it easier for developers. Number 9, the 24 7 update! Woo! This update holds a special place in Mogul history. As the name implies, this is the update that Mogul went live 24 7. I'm not sure if everyone remembers, but back in my day, you had to wait for Mogul to be online, and you could kill someone 10 times in a day, and you wouldn't get banned for it. Can I get an amen? <clears throat> uh, clearly things have changed for the better. Uh, number 8, the Tchotchke Update. This update introduced many things that are now regular parts of the average Mogulite's life. Pardon papers that make it so you can commit crimes without getting wanted levels. Real estate rabbits that don't bite you. Physical phones, 3D models for ATMs, and just so many things. This update also added Jaws specific items like pills. Pills are special items medics can make from herbs you find only in specific bushes. Depending on the herb used, it could make a pill to boost your intelligence, increase your strength, or empty your bladder. Pills added a little something special to the game. Only medics can make them, but anyone could gather ingredients for them. This inspired people to make businesses centered around selling pills and buying herbs, and anything that inspires players to do cool stuff like that is a plus in my book. Cops also got some cool stuff, like phone triangulators, that can be used to track the physical phones on criminals. And the police siren. It doesn't do anything, it just makes noise. Other than that, there are also plenty of little knickknacks in this update that all players can enjoy. Number 7, the Business Ethics Update. This update is an early update, but also an important update. This update added businesses to the game, where you could take items that drop while you're doing your job you already had, and not only would you get money for turning in those job drops, but everyone in the business would also get money for it. This feature has changed the way players play Mogul for the better. The other two things that this update introduced was a separate tax for blocks and items, and the ability to prestige in your job. Even though this update doesn't introduce a lot of new things, it's still great because of the huge impact of the things that it does add into the game. Number 6, the Of Mice and Mares update. This update brought a lot of changes, but one of the most important things to note about this update is that it's the first update made to handle more than one city. For the longest time, Mogul was being played with one city and one mare. But now there were two cities and two mares. Double the fun! As the name implies, this update gave lots of new tools for mares, such as custom pardon papers. 
As opposed to old pardon papers that simply pardon any crime, these pardon papers only pardon certain crimes like murder, potion selling, and graffiti. Mayors could also now give other players permission to buy items that previously only the mayor could buy, like restock boxes and pardon papers. Even though the majority of this update was for mayors, there were also lots of features for other players to enjoy, like an updated ATM GUI that allowed you to withdraw and deposit custom amounts of money, a new improved shopping system, and last but not least, the return of the hobo job. The hobo job is an ancient job that existed in Mogul when it first began, but it got removed and was slowly forgotten as time went on. But now it's back and better than ever! The hobo job was revamped to change the way you play the game. In this job, you get promotions by existing, and you use slash fart to drop booty pellets that drop special items. It's a great job indeed. This update has lots of great features that add to the mogul experience, but most of it is just for hobos and mares, so it wouldn't have affected you if you weren't already mayor or planning to be a hobo, which is why this is a mid-tier update at number 6. Number 5, the GGEZER update. Here we get into the top half of great updates, and ooh boy this is a tasty one. Mm -mm -mm. This update mainly focused on games and medics. Medics' pay got raised, but they also got germs. Germs are little items spawning from left out trash, and if they get into your inventory, they ain't getting out. You could also now call medics on the phone, which was helpful for knocked out players to let medics know of their condition and their location. These simple changes made medic go from a rarely used pill maker to a fun, dynamic, and needed job. But wait, there's more! The other half of this update is centered around games. One of those games was an arcade game that worked much like TNT Run, except this game was called Meltdown, and as well as running, you'd also collect upgrades that allowed you to run faster, float through the air, and send a suicide bomb shrub hobo to your enemies. It has also since been discontinued, which is very sad, but hey, at least we kept the Mogul phone app games. Playing Connect the Four inside Mogul is a super fun and underappreciated feature. On a lesser note, we also got cool hats to wear. Some of the options include hats that are expensive purely for the sake of showing off that you could buy such an expensive hat. Number 4, the Feeling Like Ship update. This is possibly one of the most important updates to Mogul in this list. Even though this is one of the earlier updates, the two things introduced in this update are things that have not only affected gameplay, but have been the center of gameplay to this day. The first thing being happiness. Happiness affects nearly all aspects of gameplay. The other thing about happiness is that it can be affected by things that players can sell, which has caused multiple businesses to be built by players. The most prominent one being Nuggets Fine Dining that sold high quality food that made people happy. The next game changing feature of this update is shipments. Shipments are always important to everyone. You can always buy normal food, but if you want high quality food to make you happy, you need to ship it in. You can buy pistols, but if you want a great gun to mow down your enemy, you need to ship it in. You can have almost anything you want in Mogul, but if you want the best of it, you need to ship it in. The fact that mares have to order the ship in has also made the mares role more important as a result. Number 3, the baby on board update. Children come into the game oddly enough as something to collect, and new leaderboards have been revamped and improved to be sleek in design, include more stats like how many times you farted or been hit by a car. But all these great features pale in comparison to what is the Philippa Engine. The Philippa Engine is Mogul's custom car plugin, and it's the best car plugin in known existence. It has its own page in the Mogul Wiki. I've driven with other Minecraft plugins, and they don't come anywhere close to the quality and smoothness of the Philippa Engine. Let me run you down a list of everything that makes the Philippa Engine great. The driving itself? Perfect. Smoothest Minecraft car you've ever driven. 
The sounds? Also amazing. You can hear the engine rev up as you speed up the car. You can customize your own car horn. Storage? You bet you can store things in your car. You can store lots of things in your car. Store away. But can you run people over? Yes. Yes you can. You can run people over with a satisfying smack. Not only are the cars in Mogul a Minecraft technical achievement, but they're also just fun to ride around in with friends. And the immersion levels reached with these cars are unlike any other Minecraft server. There is much more to this update, but just talking about the cars alone I feel is enough to show why this is number 3 in our list. Number 2, the Me Update. This update is one of the most recent updates as of recording this video, but I can already see that in the future, this will be seen as one of the predecessors to great things. An update that when looked back upon will be considered as vital to the gameplay of Mogul as feeling like shit, and that is because of two key features, ailments and build mode. Let's start with ailments. You can get boosters and ailments. Ailments slowly decrease your happiness over time, and boosters slowly increase your happiness over time. It's a simple system, but it opens up a world of possibilities. At the moment, you can get the booster smoke break, but you can also get the ailment smoker's lung. This is all we have at the moment, which is why this update isn't number one on this list. But again, this update brings so much possibility for future updates, and what kind of gameplay leads to what kind of ailments or boosters. The next feature that makes this update number 2 on this list is the new build mode. Now full disclosure, I'm not much of a builder, so I don't personally know how good the build mode is, but from what I've heard from people who actually like building, it's great. As opposed to previous updates, where if you owned a property you could just build on it like normal Minecraft, now you can only build within a build session. And after you're finished with that build session, the things you built are locked into place. More importantly, not only can you not build outside of a build session, but all the blocks you've placed can't be picked up. When you break a block, it's destroyed forever. This may sound bad at first, but it actually serves to give people building a sense of permanence. Like what you build matters, because you can't just do it over. Other great things that came with this update include the new character creator. Now when you first join Mogul, you enter a character creator where you hop on a train, Type in your name, what fictional town you were born in, your favorite food and color, which isn't a very technical game feature, but it does add a lot of fun to the game. And the number one update is... The Better Homes and Bloodshed update. This is in my opinion the best update in Mogul. Guns, robberies, furniture, completely revamped property system. Everything in this update is great, and people continue to use it to this day. Let's get the obvious out of the way. Guns are great. For as long as there's been Mogul, there's been someone suggesting that we add guns, and now we have them. Amazing! Next thing. This update really shifted the relationship between criminals and cops by adding cuffs and robberies. Criminals can now rob stores, which takes skill to pull off and is hard to do and cops can now ask criminals to sit to be cuffed before they go straight into combat. These two things really improved both the criminal career and the cop career, which is a huge plus in my book. The next great thing about this update is the property system, and ooh boy, it's the best property system in any game I've ever played. It's sleek and easy to use. You want some people to be able to go into your house but not to be able to build on it? Just put them into a group and boom, problem solved. Want everyone to be able to use your toilet? Just change the default group and bada bing, wandering hobos can now take a leak in your home! Oh man. Alright, so let's get into some ending statements here, whoop whoop! So these are my rankings, but I want to mention that this isn't exactly a be all end all list because there's so much the mogul, and I'm only basing my rankings off of what I experienced. For you, maybe the me update really should have been the best update, or maybe you think Better Homes and Bloodshed actually wasn't a very good update. At the end of the day, I'm writing this list from my experience of mogul, so you can totally disagree with me. <laughs>
I also have to get this video done in one day, so it's about time that I wrap this up. I'm Sheriff Dakin, and uh, play.mogul.today. Goodbye. <laughs>